And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, with the show that listens to early Kyler play Voodoo Child during the commercial breaks, only known as the Tuesday Night Special. And as a matter of fact, when we told you guys that he did Voodoo Child, the fact that he had Elvis sideburns while doing so was absolutely awesome too. And the fact that while he was playing and singing that song, we imagined to ourselves what would it sound like if he actually did it as early Kyler and started to laugh for a good 15 minutes. So yeah, that was the thing. But besides us laughing at cool covers, folks, I think it's time for us to check out some video game hits and clips from the NDK world for this week for another edition of the NDK Triple S Deluxe. And we kick things off this week with the art wall. And the art wall picture that we have up comes from none other than the concept artist Laura Sagol with their said artwork from the title picture The Sacred City from the video game Twin Souls The Path of Shadows from the developers Lens Works. And the picture that they have up for this week shows our hero or villain, depending on how you look at this guy, holding on to what appears to be a hawk overlooking the city below him with a whole bunch of mountains in the distance and the lights from the city showing that this is during the late night hours during the winter times due to all the snow and smoke coming from the top of the mountain. And this picture automatically reminds me of a combination of, I do believe, Assassin's Creed with a little hit of Ninja Gaiden in there as well. And here is hoping in the near future for this game that he does have some form of cool katana to attack enemies as he makes his way down to the city. And oh, as an added bonus, a chance to use that eagle or hog as a sight to see where in the world the enemies are before he goes down to the city to attack. And I got a feeling that is a thing he does. According to the maestro, he's pretty much sure of it. All right. And with that said, folks, we now head directly into the sound wall. And the sound wall that we have up this week comes from the composer Gabriel Naro with their entitled song, Desert Arena Soundtrack from the video game Porcupine from the developer's Big Green Pillow. And when I close my eyes while listening into this song, it automatically reminds me of an adventure I was on with the maestro as we were trying to discover different forms of ancient devices during an archaeological dig, only for us to find a head of Anubis or an Anubis-like mask that Maestro told me dated back all the way to the Egyptians. You think? <laughs> Only for that said Egyptian-like head to be filled with a whole bunch of snakes. For me to throw it directly at the Maestro and for the Maestro to throw it on the ground and for both of us to run away thinking that was cursed. And as a matter of fact, apparently according to this newspaper, yeah, it was cursed. But we were able to get our hands off it in enough time before we had to suffer the wrath of that said Anubis head curse. Which uh, apparently according to the maestro, the name of this Anubis head was Jim. So we would have been cursed by some guy named Jim? Are you serious? But before we worry about a curse that we almost got, we now head on over to the Screenshot Saturday Showcase. And the Screenshot Saturday Showcase picture we have up for this week comes from none other than Graham Reed with their game Hecticube. And in the screenshot that they provided for this week, it shows a traditional rectangular blue board, all with five notches behind the two paddles that were on screen, showing how many points you need to win against your opponent, all while a cube-like piece was on the board flying onto the field for both opponents to try to hit it past the gold marks that were on screen. And this picture automatically reminds me of, well, Pong. Definitely reminds me of Pong. 
and she was hoping in the near future for the said game that not only do they allow you to use different board types for this game of Hectacube, but also give you a chance to color the ball in a different way, or cube in a different way. Cause even though it's a white piece on a blue board, I think they could do better. Maybe a white board on a blue cube. Or even a chance to have a multi-ball during this game as well, which according to Maestro said I'm asking for too much, but at the same time, what we just noticed, they have two extra paddles right underneath the top paddles you're already using for this game, as an extra form of defense. Nice! And if you guys want to go ahead and check out any other cool pictures, sounds, or artwork from the art wall, sound wall, screenshot Saturday showcase, or even have yours featured on there as well, you can head on over to the IndieK.tumblr page, only known as IndieK.tumblr.com, or head on over to their Facebook page, known as IndieKade, or even their Twitter, Flickr, Instagram, YouTube, or website that are all named the same, but are just as critically acclaimed, only known as, you guessed it folks, IndieKade. And I guess with that said, we might as well head back to this music and continue to listen in to these diamonds in the rough as we try to turn your Tuesday night into a Friday night. Only here, right here, on the Tuesday Night Special. So don't go to the fridge for that post-midnight snack just yet, folks. And stay tuned. 